A report compiled by the Internal Security Organization ESO late last year indicated that the ministries and government agencies spend billions of shillings on travel abroad. State House stopped the spending list on trips abroad with about 56 billion shillings. Parliament spent 21.4 billion shillings. Minister of Health spent 19.6 billion shillings. Minister of Education, 16 billion shillings. Minister of Defense, 15.7 billion shillings. Minister of Health, 19.6 billion shillings. Minister of Water and Environment, 12.9 billion shillings. Minister of Finance, 11.1 billion shillings. Minister of Agriculture, 11.1 billion shillings. Office of the Prime Minister, 10.5 billion shillings. And the Judiciary, 9 billion shillings. In a move to reduce this wasteful expenditure, Cabinet has resolved to impose restrictions on travels of government officials abroad. We are examining the budget to look at areas which should be cut so that we can save money to invest in service delivery. And one of the areas is on foreign travel. And the guidance has been given by the President and the Prime Minister. The biggest thing that we shall cut is travel. That one I can tell you, traveling next financial year is going to be very, very limited. And we've been spending quite a lot of money. The Prime Minister has directed that the officials in the ministries and government agencies will first have to seek approval from his office but will be restricted to travel on essential trips. The decision is premised on the need to raise money to cater for the salary enhancement of public servants. Government requires about 1.8 trillion shillings for the increment. However, the opposition chief Whip Ibrahim Semujunganda has scoffed at government's move to cut expenditures on travel abroad saying this is meant to hoodwink the public. Because this is the time of making the budget. You don't actually need to issue a circular. What the government must do is to reduce the money they give to each department of government for travel abroad. Because if you don't have money to travel, then you will not travel. But the reason people are traveling right and left is because government provides money every financial year. So what government is saying now, they simply want, the, this is what I would call public posturing. They want the public to be happy. In fact, Money that we will spend on travel abroad has only gone up. Go and read the budget framework, Papa. You will see that the money for travel abroad in this new budget will be more than 110 billion shillings. In a such issue by Prime Minister Dr. Rohakana Rugunda, government ministries and agencies are being encouraged to use embassies and consulates abroad to represent the interests of the country. Where we can uh, afford not to travel and maybe rely on our embassies abroad, then we rely on the embassy. We can assign an official of the embassy to go and represent us. Government plans to merge some of its agencies, especially those offering similar services, to avoid duplication of resources. Uh, we think that by rationalizing those agencies and plugging up the leakages, then we can liberate a fair amount of money which can go towards um, enhancing the salaries of the public servants. So we are doing it as well. They tell the public one thing and then in practice they do something different. They brought a budget and said they will no longer spend money on seminars, yet they provided more than 100 billion shillings on seminars. Each day, each hotel you will visit in Kampala, you will find a seminar, either by finance, minister of energy, minister of this and that, things that they can do in their boardrooms. Last financial year, Government announced plans to cut expenditures on procuring government vehicles, but ever since, expense repurchase vehicles continue to eat into a limited resource envelope. Jingo Francis, NTV.